Hey guys, 5.8 Alpha here with another ammunition review. This time, HSM barrel load that I was able to pick up at Cabela's for a hefty price. This is a 200 grain full metal jacket at 1,093 feet per second. We're gonna try it out of the P320, six hour P320 X10. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we're back here and we're gonna do first shots chronograph and we're gonna see what five shots feels like on here. This light here is gonna help with the recoil, but I think I'm gonna do a recoil analysis. I just have to, right? I didn't do it on some of the other ones because we know 10 millimeter kicks a lot and this helps a lot on that, but this is barrel load. We gotta find out, right? We'll do the Mantis X10 here in a little bit, but we'll do chrono now. That one didn't register, did it? HSM barrel load velocity test, okay? 1106. 11.07, 11 11.15, 11.13, 11.03. So we're consistently in the 1100s. The highest one was 11.15, the lowest 11.03. It's got a pretty good spread, I think. Now let's go ahead and take this off and put the Mantis X10 recoil meter on there. All right, so I'm gonna reload this ammo here so we can do the Mantis X10, but we'll go ahead and talk about that chronograph reading here in a different section of this video. Go ahead and click the timeline down below to get to that now if you want to see it. But we'll go ahead and start the Mantis X10 app. I love this Mantis X10, you get a lot of data on here, so let's go ahead and check out this X10 and the recoil analysis for this HSM bear load. Now it is FMJ, so. All right, here we go. Let's see if it reads it. Yep, it did, 24.96 on the recoil. And this is without the light, so I know it's gonna be less. This feels like it kicks more than without the light, than with the light on it. Okay. Average, 2706, what do you expect? That's a hefty round, hefty beast. So let's get into it with this advertised velocity here of 1,093 feet per second and see what we actually got. Over there on the left, you can see it's a very consistent ammunition with that yellow bar being very close together and our standard deviation pretty low at four. And you can see that my average was 1,108, which is only a little bit above the advertised velocity, but you can see that it is very consistent shooting ammunition, very good quality. So I'm really liking that consistency. It is quite pricey ammunition, but it seems like you do get some good quality with it. Now here's the averages for the recoil analysis here from the Mantis X10. So at the top here, it's of this exact ammo, the HSM barrel load. And you can see the muzzle rise on average was pretty hefty there, 27.10 degrees. Some of those other numbers are also quite high, but this is 10 millimeter. I expected that it was gonna hit a little bit harder. It's a 200 grain bullet as well. And down at the bottom, you can see that I compiled some data from other 10 millimeters that I've done ammunition reviews for in the past. And so I combined it all here in the table so that we can just keep a running chart going as long as I continue to add more ammunition to the test. But here you can see that HSM takes the cake here with the highest muzzle rise or the most recoil more or less there. And to compare it to another 200 grain, which is from Sig Sauer, the V-Crown version, that one didn't recoil as much. That one was at 9.66. But when I was doing the four tests on the right there, the Sig V-Crown 180 grain, Blazer, Cellular and Below, and the 200 grain V-Crown, I was doing tests measuring the recoil with the DPM recoil and reduction springs. So those were all averages from those. So it's kind of a little bit misleading a little bit, but at least we have the data here to compare something to. Also note on the right there, I put a orange tag there saying that the 200 grain SIG V crown advertised velocity was a little bit slower, 1,050 feet per second than the HSM. I don't really know if that makes much of a difference, 50 feet per second as far as the translation there on more recoil or not, but I thought I'd just put that note in there so you guys were well aware. Let's go ahead and do a few more, five shots more basically, and a little, quick transition or quick sight acquisition, see how it shoots, maybe three rounds. Let's go ahead and try it. All right, we're gonna switch targets here. Here we go. It's pretty fast, but <laughs> the recoil is hefty. So if you wanna shoot fast, you're not gonna be consistently doing that, I think. Oh, but anyway, go ahead and pick yourself up some of that. If you guys have a purpose or a need for a bear load, some 200 grain, it's gonna be hitting pretty hard, that target at going at 1100 feet per second at that speed. So. Overall, pretty good ammunition. It doesn't, haven't had any malfunctions. I've been shooting it in the PCC as well. You guys can check that video out if you'd like to see more review of that kind of stuff. I got a flag going along everywhere here. But yeah, anyway, 
Thanks for watching. If you guys like this kind of content and you want to see more ammunition, quick videos like this where I just do chronograph and recoil analysis, please let me know in the comments. Click like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Apocalypse.